Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a brand new video. So hope you guys are having an amazing day. This guy's back again with a car related video for you guys. So guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to install the EL wire in your truck. So basically the truck in front of me is the Mitsubishi Pajero 1990 model, also known as, a, known as the first generation. So the reason for making this video is I couldn't find any videos recording uh, installing EL wire or interior lights in an old model of car. Secondly, the place where I went to put the lights on told me that they couldn't install it and uh, it's going to look very bad since this is an old truck which was kind of absurd for me so i decided to order these lights online they're pretty cheap around about two to three dollars and for the amount of uh, uh, interior difference they really make i think they are money well spent so uh first thing that i did wrong was i thought they are going to send a long version of the yellow wire but they ended up sending a short version so this was barely enough to cover the dashboard of the truck so so basically i started from the left side from the passenger side and decided to move towards the driving side now for most new models of cars you do have a lot of panel gaps so you can tuck this el wire without any problem or if you uh, install any other uh, type of ambient lights but for this uh, pajero the interior gap was too much in some places and in most places there wasn't enough in a panel gap to put this el wire now i really hate uh, to use super glue on the dashboard because whenever you are going to remove the super glue uh, it's going to put a stain on the dashboard and uh, it's going to be really hard to get a new dashboard for this truck and in this video you are going to see that the EL wire isn't straight all the way if I was to put the super glue on the entire dashboard then it's going to make the EL wire really nice and straight and it's going to look much better but uh, that would ruin the look of the dashboard so I couldn't really do that but uh, when you are driving at night time uh, it doesn't really matter you couldn't really see that it's not that straight even if you try to focus from the back seat then you can really see that there are few spots which are not straight but overall if you are driving or you're looking towards uh, you are looking from the passenger side and it really upgrades the level of the interior of your car so basically after the stucking in the el wire from the sides and using the super glue to secure it in, all i did was uh, in terms of wiring i didn't want to get into the wiring of the car because it's not really safe and since this uh, el wire is pretty cheap so I didn't want to mess with the um original wiring of the car so what i ended up doing was i bought this 12 volt adapter for your car basically it's for the interior lights also so i just um, put the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative and i plugged this adapter into the cigarette lighter port the best part is whenever i would like to turn off these lights all i have to do is just turn off the switch on the adapter and it basically kills the lights off and uh, even if i if i want to unplug the lights for some reason i could really do it so there is not a direct connection to the interior wiring of the car which i think is kind of safe because especially when you're buying these chinese products which are really cheap it's not really safe to directly wire into the interior of your uh, in the interior wiring of your car of course if you want you can really put a fuse and that would uh, make things much uh, safer and overall for i think under two to three dollars this really enhances the look uh, inside look because uh, it's an old model car so the dashboard kind of looks uh, very dull and uh, because a new cars you have so many different ambient lights and stuff and especially all the switches and i think it looks really best when you try to look from the outside it feels like a uh, wire is going through like the el wire it looks super cool especially from the tinted glass for under i think three to four dollars it's a pretty good deal even if you include the shipping i think it should be under five dollars but for five dollars it's a really good choice i'm really thinking of putting the expensive um, ambient lights which has those projector and a tube inside because i really want to cover the door car also because even though this looks pretty cool but if i could cover all the door cards and the dashboard i think this would look so much sick and the great thing i want to really say is you can put these el wire or ambient lights in any model of car and it's going to really increase the level of the interior and especially at night driving it's it works really nicely for most people who think like this is going to annoy you when you're driving on highways that's not a thing this doesn't hurt your eyes by any means so overall i, I drove the car on highways after installing this el wire i think it's pretty perfect i couldn't really see any problems uh you would see some reflection on the side glass but that's um, not something that is annoying at all and it doesn't disturb uh, during driving so that's the thing so that's pretty much it for this video so if you like the video make sure you put a like and if you're new consider subscribing i become a part of this channel and thanks for watching and goodbye